Yo, it's Kaku. And today we're going to be talking about um, one of my similar topics that I really want to talk about on this channel for a long time. So basically, I've been reading the manga for My Hero Academia. It's pretty old stuff since like the manga stuff is probably getting updated like every two weeks. Um, So I've been reading, I think, chapter two, 200 something. And it's revealed that Deku has six quirks. If you read the title, it's probably going to be something like why I hate Deku's quirks or why I hate Deku's second quirk. So the idea of this is basically why I hate his quirk, his second quirk, of course. I really don't like the idea of Deku getting a quirk in the first place. That's one of a, se a severe problem. I kind of like people in different continuities being more self-powering, not just having like a single power. Cause I know, I, I understand why Horikoshi would put that in the manga. For Deku to have a quirk because let's be honest, if Todoroki and Deku had a fight, just because Deku had years of experience doesn't mean he's gonna win anything. But the second quirk and then the six quirks just makes it more makes it more devastating and more stupid to me. It's just very annoying when we have Deku over here already with full cowling and the air stuff with his fingers. He has already he already has all might's power. And now you're telling me that he's gonna get all the other previous one for all users' powers? It just makes no damn sense to me. He is, he, I'm pretty sure I looked at most of the previous one for all users on uh, the Wikipedia. So we know he's probably gonna get Float. And we also, we also seen the chapters that he also gets the quirk Black Whip. <clears throat> Black Whip is a. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool power, but I don't think Deku should even have full master of it. I know he. In the recent arc in the manga what i'm reading right now it's the 1a versus 1b the base kind of a tournament right now yeah i really don't want him to master that power for a long time or at least not master any other power for a long time because all for all for one is revealing that he has six quirks or whatever does he really need that much quirks to be honest it just makes no sense i just really wish that uh horikoshi would have found the way at the beginning to give deku no quirks so it can basically just work himself up and when he gets strong enough um when he gets strong enough he can get one for all and then all those powers come with it just so he earns it he, i'm not saying he didn't earn the power in the first place but i would i don't I, I i wished it was more built up like it was more built up when when he just like i know he did training for a couple months but i feel like he should have went to ua then at least became a sophomore, trained and beat a few villains with no quirk, and that would have gave that would have gave him some like a new pers a per perspective. Imagine a kid going to UA and having no quirk and still succeeding. That would stick out more to All Might than just a kid who saved his best friend just because he was in trouble and stuff like that. It would make more sense if if he was kind of more like a Batman kind of character that um had no that had no powers but is still successful that's why i love batman and robin dc because they really just like outshine everyone else even though they have no powers no abilities that can help them push themselves they still succeed without any powers it just it just makes it feel more alive and stuff like that that was quirk like a second quirk black whip um he should not he should not have have it accessible in the first place not yet anyways let's wait till like he at least mastered the power he has right now i know he didn't he really doesn't have control over it right now he just like came out of him because he snapped or something it kind of just looks like venom if i'm being honest but yeah i really just hope they don't make deku too overpowered i don't i really do like overpowered characters but i like them done right like saitama of course Saitama is a good uh, example of a OP character done right. He does most of the stuff that he does. But I guess yeah, that's it. Deck, I hope that um, I hope in the manga it gets like in the anime it gets uh, animated soon. But uh, season four just ended, so I don't think that's gonna happen for real. About like a few years from now, um, I really hope he doesn't make Deku too overpowered. Cause if he gets too overpowered, then it's probably gonna get annoying. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be done with the show. I'm gonna keep watching it, but it's just gonna be more frustrating. But yeah, it's been your boy Keku, and today, um, I want everyone in the comments to comment some questions for me. 
well, I'm going to be doing a Q&A for my next video. And I'm going to be editing more on that. It seems like I'm public comments. Um, yeah. It's been your boy Keku. And I'm out.